Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Iraqi Defense Industries Commission, DIC, recently released a video on April 1, 2024, showcasing the local production launch of what appears to be the Chinese VN-22, a 6x6 armored personnel carrier, APC. This development signals Iraq's ambition to strengthen its defense capabilities and establish a cutting-edge defense industrial base to meet the comprehensive needs of its armed forces and security apparatus. While Iraq's military equipment historically has been sourced from various international manufacturers, including the United States and Russia, the emergence of modern Chinese military equipment in Iraq's arsenal is a notable development. This shift underscores the deepening defense relations between China and Iraq, coinciding with broader economic cooperation and infrastructure development initiatives undertaken by China in Iraq. China's involvement in Iraq's reconstruction efforts spans diverse sectors, including oil, agriculture, and housing. Notably, Chinese companies agreed to construct millions of residences across Iraq as part of a comprehensive infrastructure development plan. Energy cooperation has also been a cornerstone of the China-Iraq partnership, with Iraq emerging as a crucial partner for China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI, in the energy sector, leading to a significant increase in Iraq's oil exports to China. The VN-22, manufactured by the Chinese defense company Norinco, has gained traction internationally, with recent acquisitions by countries such as Côte d'Ivoire and deployment in Senegal by police forces. The vehicle showcased in the DIC video features a one-man weapon station armed with a Norinco 12.7mm LM53 barrel Gatling-type machine gun, highlighting its versatility and firepower. China's expanding defense industry presence in Africa is a part of its broader strategic objectives, encompassing arms sales, establishment of maintenance centers, and investment in training facilities. The Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, has been particularly active in this regard, setting up aviation training centers and maintenance facilities across several African nations. Chinese military hardware, including trainer aircraft and jets, has seen widespread adoption in African defense sectors, with a significant portion of trainer aircraft fleets operated by African air forces being of Chinese origin. This deep penetration underscores China's ambition to strengthen defense ties with African nations and expand its influence in the region beyond resource extraction. In summary, Iraq's local production of the Chinese VN-22 reflects a broader trend of deepening defense relations between China and Iraq, as well as China's expanding footprint in Africa's defense sectors. These developments have the potential to reshape the defense landscape of both regions and enhance China's strategic influence on the global stage. That's all for now. See you later.